Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So far in our previous video, we have covered what are some of the important predefined functional interfaces like predicates, functions, consumers and suppliers in detail. In case you have missed it, you can check for the link of all these previous video in our description box or you can go through the Java 8 playlist from Multifarious channel. Link for the same is mentioned on the top of your screen in the i button. In this video, we will cover what are by consumer, what is the syntax of by consumer, usage and application by some examples. So before wasting any time, let's get started. Till now, we have seen a consumer of type T, where T is the type of input to the consumer and the return type of a consumer is always void. So let's consider we have a situation where we want to write a consumer that should consume two input values and collectively perform some operation on it. But again, the bottleneck here is same. Consumer takes only one input of type T, performs some processing on it and does not return anything. So don't worry, Java has a solution for this also. It comes up with a two parameter variant of consumer, which is also known as by consumer. So why do we need a by consumer? By consumers are required when you want to write a consumer that takes two input values. Now let's understand the syntax of by consumer. So a by consumer is defined like this. It is annotated with at the rate functional interface annotation. It contains only one abstract method that is except like consumer. Notice that the return type here is also void. The method signature of by consumers are void except t comma u. So here t is the type of first input to the consume by consumer and u is the second type of input to the by consumer. Now let's understand the usage of by consumer with a simple example. So suppose I am given a task to write a by consumer which will check which will take two input strings and it will just print those strings onto the console. So let's try to implement this solution. Here I have a class by consumer example, which has a main method inside it. Let's assume I have two strings S1 and S2. So here I will write a consumer that will take both of these strings and it will print both the input strings onto the console. So here we have a requirement to pass two strings. So here we will be using by consumer. So let's write a by consumer, a by consumer of type string and string that takes two input strings that is str1 and str2 and using system.out.println it will print both of these strings onto the console. So let's see this code into the actions. So in this example, you can see we have a class by consumer example, which is a main method inside it. Then we have a two strings S1 and S2 and we have written a by consumer to consume these two strings. So a by consumer of string comma string print strings that takes A comma B as the input values and using system.out.println it is just printing the input strings. So I have invoked the accept method of by consumer by calling print strings dot accept s1 comma s2 so let us save this code and let's see what is the output so let me compile this code let me just run it so you can see both the input strings are now printed onto the screen so this was it for today today we have understood two input variant of consumer that is by a consumer in our upcoming video we will see functional interfaces that can work with the primitive types. So I hope you like this video. So do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for yet another videos on Java 8. Till then, take care. Bye bye and thank you for watching.